Hey makers, this is Rubin, and today I am going to make announcement on my new Power Automate batch for 2025 is starting from September 20th this month. So only 15 days to start my new Power Automate training program. Now let me tell you, this is the last batch of 2025. After that, we don't have planned any Power Automate batch at least for 2025. In 2026, we will come up with a new session schedule. But this is the last chance if you are really interesting to learn for the Power Automate. You know that generally for Power Platform trainings, we are usually repeating our one training program just after five months. So one training program will repeat it after five months. So it's a golden opportunity to learn this skill set if you are really interested in. All right. So today I am going to talk about that what you are going to learning over all this particular program and what's the course content and whatever frequently asked question that you guys are having. I am going to clear out all those things over here. So for those who are not interesting into live training program that I am conducting, maybe you can just skip this video and you can watch other free content which is already available on my YouTube channel. All right. But for those who are really interested to know what I am going to talk about into Power Automate training program and who can enroll into that and is there any prerequisites for that? All of those concept I am going to talk about in today's episode. So without further delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me share my screen over here. So. Basically, my Power Automate training program is a weekend training program. Specifically, Power Automate batch we are having is a weekend. Just because during weekdays, let's say if you haven't time to uh, go through some of the content, maybe during the weekend you can fully focus on that. And again, it's a four week program. Now you will tell me in four weeks will I able to cover up everything? So let me tell you that thing that in weekend on every day basis we are connecting five hours. So almost like Saturday, Sunday, five five hours. So one week we are going to cover up almost ten hours of content. So we are going to cover up lots of thing during this particular program. Now let me just go through that what we are going to cover up over here. So first of all, this is completely beginner to advanced level training program where we will start our journey from. as a beginner so anyone if you don't know anything about power automate you don't need to worry everything will be covered over here all right so first of all in the first class is the more about introductory and getting started class so in the first week basically we will set up the overall foundation of the power automate so we will talk about that okay what is power automate as a product what are the real use cases in the actual real world that we can solve with the help of power automate what are the different kind of power automate flows are available like schedule flow or automated flow or like say instant flow all those type of flows we will talk about with the example over here also we'll talk about some of the key terminology which every developer need to know when they start the overall power automate journey so we will be talking about triggers action and how you can think about that okay uh, if i wanted to build up the flow whether it will be um, fulfill my business requirement or not how you can make up those decision point all those aspect we will cover up in detail into week number 1 overall so in uh, week number 1 two classes will be there overall 10 hours but it is again like a foundation of the classes all right now at the end of the week one we, at least you will gain the confidence that okay what exactly power automate as a product is doing if i am coming with certain set of use cases how can i check that whether it's a possible into power automate or not will cover up everything all right now remember one thing this entire training program is fully interactive it's not just a one way communication that i am speaking and you are just listening on every topic we will open the stage for q and a you can ask me the like question clear your doubts and at the end you will get the hands on file as well so entire training program is again practical based so no more theory it's like different different case studies we will take and we will implement it end to end and again in the homework as a part of the exercise you need to do that all right now let's move towards the week 2 agenda where we are setting up the core skill set for the cloud flow all right and first of all we will start our journey with the basics of the cloud flow so again when we start our journey with any cloud flow obviously we need to know that what are the most commonly useful actions whether it's a looping action or maybe it it is the action which is useful in day to day data manipulation in the power automate or in power automate world the main thing is json if you are playing with the json like a pro you can solve any problem in the world of power automate so how to play around with the json arrays all those things we will talk about also we'll talk about the different case studies on the error handling or let's say for an example th there are lots of power ss expression as well we can write in the world of power automate so what are the most common expression that is also something we are going to talk about 
so at least you will gain the confidence that you know you can build the scalable automation and error proofing for your flow and again industry standard flow all right so this class will teach you that particular thing that okay whenever we do the any flow development into real world actually what are the challenges we can face and uh, absolutely in which way to direct with or how you can think about that okay how you can build such kind of complex power automate flow all those aspects we will uncover in class number 3 class number 4 is all about where we are starting our journey with the different kind of data sources obviously in power automate there are 1400 plus connectors available but we will start our journey at least with the sharepoint first so sharepoint level let's say with power automate what level of customization you can do what are the native actions available how you can deal with the complex data type how you can solve the real world use case fill with sharepoint as a data source how you can call any kind of custom api over the sharepoint how you can work with the files how you can work with the environment variable all those things we will uncover into class number 4 over here so sharepoint plus cloud flow what's the combination and what are the use cases which can solve over here we will cover up over here all right then in week number 3 we can do some more advanced automation with dataverse so we will talk about that okay what is dataverse and again like what are the possibilities to do with the dataverse like how to deal with the complex data type uh, we will talk about some sort of xrm toolbox utilities over here as well that okay what are the way let's say for an example with power automate you want to fetch some data from your uh, dataverse and for that what are the different type of queries you can write over here whether it's a fetch xml query or o data query how you can handle the large data set how you can work with the files in the dataverse all those aspects we will uncover up into this particular session all right then we'll also talk about the power automate approvals again approvals is one of the very popular action and in many scenarios in the real world as well we are using the power automate approval action so what are the different kind of approval actions available what you can do with that what kind of problems you can solve with that what are the limitations over there how to overcome those limitations all those cover up uh, things we are going to cover up in detail over here also in this session we will talk about the licensing concept as well in detail so whenever we are working with the any microsoft product licensing is the key which means that okay when you are running your power automate flow what license you need as a flow owner what are the options available over there we'll uncover all those things also we'll talk about that okay when you are using any kind of licensing what kind of api limits are there and how you can uh, what is threshold limit for e each of the licenses and all we will go in detail over here into this particular session all right then we will reach to slowly slowly to the week 4 where we will do more enterprise ready automation where we will connect more on the integration part where we will connect the on premise file system when we connect the third party uh, third party endpoints and for that we will connect the custom connector so we will talk about in detail that how you can build your own custom connector uh, there are different ways to create it you can create in a manual fashion you can create with a postman json collection you can also create uh, with some sort of ready made available open api definition file so what are the things you can achieve over there we'll cover that also if you wanted to make any kind of api endpoint at the time there is a http action also available so what is the difference between http action versus your custom connector that's also something we are going to uncover over here all right also we'll also talk about that okay uh, how you can do a rest api or maybe how you can call any kind of api using the power automate that's also something we are going to uncover into this particular episode all right so seventh class is all about that in class number 8 we will do the power platform integration with power automate so at that time what we will do is we will integrate our power bi report with the power automate so what kind of use cases you can solve over there when you are having power apps and inside that if you want to use power automate what kind of use cases you can solve it over there all those integration pieces something we are going to talk about in detail for this particular part also i'm going to teach you here that how the overall deployment will work so let's say for an example if you are starting your overall journey with the microsoft flow and at the end you need to move that to your production environment 
then how you can move it over there what is the way of exporting and importing how you can manage the base connection references over there what kind of standards you need to follow at the enterprise level all those things we will uncover over here also i will guide here in the last session specifically about like uh, if you, if you are planning for any certification and all what would be your certification route with power platform also will provide some sort of sample resume project as well which you can add in your resume and justify your uh, experience as well as how you can um, make it your resume much more better that's also something we are going to talk about all right so it's like a full fledged training program which is divided into eight different sessions and uh this is what overall you are going to cover up over here all right so it's mainly focused on like entire base to advanced so nth level of complexity you can able to achieve it by your own all right so this is all about the training program and as i said it's a last batch of 2025 after that the new opportunity you will get in the year of 2026 till then we don't have any active batch of power automate because next we have planned for the model driven application as well as power bi and copilot studio for this year so no more power automate for this year on the later on all right so this is all i wanted to talk about for overall course agenda and timeline if you are having any particular question you can always comment out or out as well as the links are available in the description box from where you can reach out to on our whatsapp number so do it over there also uh, if you need the same pdf file on your whatsapp the link is also available in the description box so do check it out over there all right so that's it for more free information and further inquiry feel free to connect us on the whatsapp number which is mentioned in the uh, description box so see you all in my new training program starting from 20th of september till then have a great day goodbye